Okay, let's look a little bit more closely at um, the equilibrium constant type equations. Uh, I just want to reiterate that the equilibrium constants always involve activities. Um, and I keep stressing this activity thing because if you don't put it in at reasonable concentrations, you get completely wrong results. And we'll just see how bad that can be, maybe perhaps in, in a few mini lectures time. So here's the KW, the water product equation. Um, involving the H plus activity. Remember activities I'm writing with round brackets and here is the OH minus activity again with round brackets and here's the acid constant uh, equation involving activities. Right, activities are related to concentrations via activity constants or for gases nearly the same thing, the fugacity they're bas basically the same thing. The activity is equal to the fugacity or the activity constant, and it's this number here, Fa, sometimes also called gamma A, times the concentration. So the, uh, ac the activity is proportional to the concentration, and it's equal to the concentration at uh, low concentration, mainly because the fugacity or the activity becomes equal to one low concentration. Let's have a look at an example of the activity just to get a feel for that. Um, the activity constant depends on the concentration of all the other species in solution. I stress that. For example, let's look at the activity of chocolate. This is a bit of a silly example. That would be equal to the activity constant uh, coefficient uh, of chocolate, F chocolate, times a concentration of chocolate. Here the activity of chocolate depends not only on the concentration of the chocolate, but also on other things. Well, what could the activity of, of the chocolate depend on? Well, for example, whether it's 99% concentrated or whether it has other flavor enhancers or whatever uh, in increases the activity of the chocolate from basically its concentration. All that extra stuff is covered by this activity coefficient. So what you need to see is that equilibrium constants do not just depend on the activity, uh, on the concentration of the species that you're interested in. They actually, the activity of a particular species depends on all the species. So that's pretty useless. It's not really much of a simplification. It is very, very lucky that at low concentration, those activities are equal to concentrations. So this works well at low concentrations, at high concentrations. We need to take countermeasures. Uh, before we take the countermeasures, let's look at different types of equilibrium constant. Um, activities are, let me say, a pain in the ass. So it's common to work with something called the conditional equilibrium constants. These depend on particular concentrations of all the other species in solution. For example, like salinity. So what we can do is measure the equilibrium constant at different salinities. Those would be conditional equilibrium constants, conditional on the concentration of other things being fixed. So uh, we give that the symbol Kc uh, with a superscript for conditional. We can do that, for example, the concentration uh, uh, constant is a kind of equilibrium constant that you already know, KCW, and these involve concentration. So up till now you've been using KC constants, concentration constants. If you want to be specific, uh, you put a C on top there, and here's the KC concentration constant for the acid. Um, so this is conditional in the sense that it's conditional on the solution being very dilute. That's it. But there are also other types of constants called the mixed equilibrium constants. What is the mixed equilibrium constant? Well, the mixed constant is the one where everything except the hydrogen is given by concentration. The hydrogen appears having an activity. So let's look at an example here. K dash W, this is the mixed equilibrium water constant. 
would be the activity of hydrogen times the concentration of OH. The mixed acid constant K dashed A, so the dashed in this case indicates the mixed, is the activity of hydrogen times concentration of A minus and concentration of HA. The only thing that appears with activity is H plus here. Why is that? We use activity for H plus because pH involves H plus activity and pH is measured and if you measure it you should be getting the activity. So pH directly gives the activity whereas concentrations they can be obtained other, in other ways by calibration or by weighing. So these mixed constants are quite useful. Here's a test. Can you derive this expression? K dashed A equals a constant times the normal thermodynamic equilibrium constant. So this one involves activities and this one may or may not involve activities and here is a ratio of activities relating those two. See if you can test yourself on that. Okay, see you later.